In a survey of more than 900 creators, the average number of digital products offered was 11. And that's just one aspect of what creators offer. You run online communities, publish blog posts, film videos, send newsletters, provide coaching, sell courses, and more. Link and bio tools make it easy to share everything you do in a single link. But then you have to use other services to build your website, host your community, and sell your products. Wouldn't it be great if there was one tool that let you do all of that in one place? Turns out there is such a tool. It's super easy to use. And in this video, we're going to show you how it works. Let's get into it. Hello creators, I'm Ben Tolson from Podia, where we empower creators like you to make a living doing what you love. So what amazing tool am I talking about? You guessed it, I'm talking about Podia, and we believe it's the best link in bio tool for creators. Let me explain why. In addition to being able to build a link in bio page, there are a number of other things creators need for their business that Podia makes possible. Podia's free plan includes a full website with an easy to use website builder, an online community platform, email marketing tools, chat messaging with your customers, and the ability to sell one digital download and one coaching product. You get all of that on just the free plan and our paid plans include even more. The free Podia site builder makes it super easy to spin up a link in bio page and all Podia websites are mobile friendly. So your link in bio page will look great no matter where it's being viewed. Podia creator and music marketing expert Adrian Dalsis uses his link in bio page to share information about his professional background, call attention to important pages, and promote his newsletter signup, all from a single link in his social media bio. Check out this quick tour of his link in bio page that he built using Podia. Hi, so what I did was, as you can see, in this first block, I added my photo, a brief description of who I am, then another blog explaining how can I help my audience, a grid style blog with all the main buttons to my stuff. Then I added an invite to join my newsletter in order to get into my welcome automation. And finally, a call to action to know more about my first recommended course inside my academy. And yeah, tell me what do you think in the comments? Now that you've seen what's possible, I'm going to show you in real time how to actually build a link in bio page for your business. I'm starting here on the Podia dashboard. This is an account that I made for Song Study, which is a brand I made up just to demo things like this. So from here, I'm going to go over and click on Edit Site, and that's going to take me to the Podia Site Builder. Now you see I've already built out the home page. If you come over here to the top left side, you can click on this and it opens up a menu bar with a list of your pages and other products. So you can see I've already created a few pages over here. For the link in bio page, I'm just going to click new page. Now what this doesn't do is it doesn't automatically add the page to the menu bar. And that's important because I don't necessarily want my link in bio page to show up on my main website. I want it to be something that I can point people to that links to a bunch of different things, but I don't necessarily need website visitors to navigate to that page. So now that I've created it, I'm going to create my first block by clicking the plus sign. And I want to add a bio. So I'm going to click on bio. This is actually something that I've written already for my website. And so it pre-fills that, which is nice. I don't have to type any new text or upload a new image. What I am going to do is I'm going to mess with the design because I want it to look more like a link and bio page. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go to layout and I'm going to put my picture on the top. I really like that kind of circle profile look. So I'm going to make this the aspect ratio square. And then I'm going to choose the round corners and that makes it a circle. Now on mobile, I want this to show up as full width, so I'm going to leave that toggled on. So now I've got my picture and I've got the text here and my bio. This is a little bit more than I want to include, so I'm going to go ahead and edit this just to make it a little bit simpler. In the pre-title, I'm going to add my handle, which is a handle that I use for pretty much every social media site. I'm going to change this to say, hi, I'm Ben Tolson. And then down here, I'm going to 
just delete some of this so that it's a little bit shorter. All right, and then from here, I could add all of my socials, but people are kind of coming from a social media platform typically to this page to find things that I offer. So I'm gonna leave that and I'm done with this section for now, so I'm gonna close it. Now I can add another section and I'm going to add my links. So for this, I'm gonna use grid, just like Adrian did. The grid section has items um, and each item gives you options to add a button. So I'm going to come back here and instead of calling this grid, I will call it links. I'm gonna get rid of the description. And for the first item, going to say, learn songwriting, which is my course. I'm gonna leave this text blank. You know what, actually, I'm gonna take the title off because I think what I really want to do is put it here, learn song writing, and then going to use my website as the placeholder link for now. But there, it shows up there. Then the next item, now, the, that is the thing about not having the label. If I have the title here, Learn Songwriting, and I go back, you can see that here, but that's not how I want it to function. I don't want to have to have this title show up here. So when I delete this, I just have to remember the order that I put them in because it won't actually show up here. For now, maybe that's something we update in the future. So I'm gonna do this for a few more. All right, now that's done, and I can go over here to the design and I want to put the content uh, in columns, but I want them to be centered. That way, if somebody's viewing it on a desktop, the links show up centered within their columns rather than on the left, which design-wise looks a little bit weird. And then if I look at the preview for different devices, tablet, it makes a nice single column display of those buttons and the same on mobile. Yeah, I like that a lot. And then I'm going to do one more thing that Adrian had on his, and I'm going to add a newsletter sign up because that's another thing you can do, which is great. You can have a newsletter sign up right there on your link in bio page. There are other things you can do. Um, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and add the newsletter sign up here first. So I just click to add a new section and I'll click on email form. I'm going to change the design on the links section under the appearance so that it's a little bit differentiated from the other blocks. I'll close that out. So now I've got the newsletter sign up. I'm gonna add one more block and I'm going to add a featured section and this will let me add my Learn Songwriting product. And you can see that shows up there. Again, I'm gonna change the design so that it um, is differentiated from the other stuff. And I think because this is set to mobile full width, this will still show up as a full width image. So this is this is what it would look like. So I've got the got the link to this page and I shared that on my socials. They'll land on it if they're looking at it on their mobile device. This is what they'll see, which is great. It's really condensed. Everything is there that I would want for people to be able to link to. I've got easy access to some of the things that I really want to point folks to. But all of the other stuff that I'm doing on Podia already, I can link to, I can include on that page and it's really easy to set up. So there you have it. And again, it still looks great on desktop, on a tablet, and it looks great on mobile. So there you go. As you grow your business, a link in bio page makes it easy for your followers to explore all the amazing content and products you create. Having a tool that's easy to use is essential and being able to do almost everything else for your business in the same place is priceless. If you wanna try out Podia to build your LinkedIn bio page, sign up for a free account at podia.com slash sign up. If you found this video helpful and you want more content like this, click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll be sure not to miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.